other lights is the ambient light. The ambient light is pretty easy to understand thing. You don't need to place it anywhere. It's gonna illuminate everything. So if I render right now, let me just uh, set the rendering resolution down so it will make it a quick make it quicker. Um, this is uh, yeah half the size. Let's try to render. And you can see right now it's just crazy illuminated. Way too much. Uh, in some cases you want this, in some other cases you don't want it. So let's see how it looks now. Yeah, this is a bit better. And it means that you don't get the too dark uh, spots on your scene. Um, so that's basically it about the lights. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and uh, learned something. Um, I showed you how you could uh, set up some shadows, how you could quickly set up your rendering, how you could uh, use different lights to get different results. It's you, you saw how, uh, how fast I did this. This is like 20 minutes and already I got some lighting. It's not perfect, but it's quick. So it shows you how you quickly can set up something. Um, I like to keep it simple and this is very simple. When you're making lights, you can quickly get uh, confused and make a lot of lights. But a good idea is always to limit the sources of light to as few as possible and really think about each light because if the lights come from outside it will bounce on the win on the floor and illuminate up and you only need one light for the cast shadows and one light for the bouncing. So don't overcomplicate it because when you're doing lights you can easily get into a rhythm where you just keep adding lights and keep making them because I don't know why but <laughs> that's just the way it works. I done that myself a thousand times. Um, anyway, if you got any feedback you can just write me an email. As usual I'm gonna pop the email on the screen and I hope you have fun making this uh, little lighting test. You can download the scenes uh, on the web page.